Hello everyone and welcome back to the bench. Today I have an ICOM ID4100 and this radio came in just for programming. The owner of the radio wants a bunch of off-road frequencies, commercial frequencies, and this radio has locked and can't transmit on them. So as you can see, I'm on just a regular ham frequency and I key up and it transmits. But if I say go to this one, which is out of band, I key up and it says off band. It won't allow me to. So what we're going to do is we're going to unlock it so it can transmit on those frequencies. Now, just a warning, the usual warning, uh, this may be illegal where you live, depending on what you are licensed for and where you are. So please use this responsibly. Um, if you're interested in where I am in BC, Canada, you can easily apply for a license to transmit on these frequencies. It costs about $25 and sign some paperwork and you can get a recreational license to use the LADS and the resource roads, which are all the uh, logging road frequencies here. Um, that is totally legit, and just be responsible of what you're doing here. So, without further ado, let's move on to the actual work. We'll start by taking the radio apart, which is pretty simple on these ICOM radios. You just need a number one Phillips. And we'll be doing the bottom underside cover. So there's four screws on the top and then two screws on either side. Now, we'll have a cluster of diodes right up here. And these top two right are the ones that we want to remove. There's different combinations of where you can put diodes here for different regions to block and unblock certain transmit receive ranges. If we take these two out and have no diodes in, then we're fully opening the radio. And in this case, that's what we're doing. So I'm gonna take these two and I'm gonna use my soldering iron and just gently lift them up and I'm gonna try to preserve them because I like to keep them. I'll save them and put them in the radio, tape them inside the cover uh, in case somebody ever wants to put it back to factory.
Now I'm just taking the diodes here and I'm going to scotch tape them to the inside of the cover because one day somebody might want to put it back to the way it was. And uh, there you go. They're in place and I'll take my Sharpie here and just put a couple dots where they used to be to make it easier. And we'll really fast here put the cover on at turbo speed and get it all back together so we can test it out. So with this modification, we have opened our transmit from 137 to 174 FM and 400 to 470 FM. Uh, we've also really wide opened our receive too, which is pretty cool. So let's, let's give it a shot here. So we'll plug in our microphone here, set it to one of these frequencies, which is definitely out of range. We'll key up here, and you'll see on the right side, TX with a full modulation, and it is working. Whereas before, it uh, gave us an error message. So this is definitely working now, and uh, there you go. That's how it's done. So I appreciate you watching the video this far. Uh, if you could give a like and subscribe, that'd be awesome. And uh, let me know what you think. Thanks, guys.